What's up? It's your boy Jason, aka Maker Music, here in the lab again early this morning to uh, work on this uh, one track for this music library. Um, they want a track and style of uh, Raiderton, so I told them just to send me a sample of something um, that's in that same style. And what I'm gonna do is I already dragged it into my um, my session here, my arrangement view. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of deconstruct it, break it down. I'm not gonna do the whole song. I'm just gonna show you like the beginning of it. Just to show you my uh, process on how to create something similar to it. So, I'm going to go ahead and play this track. And let's get started. Let's just start at the beginning. Right now I hear a piano. So what I'm gonna do is go to the top and I'm gonna right click and add what what is what they call um, locator. <coughs> Excuse me. Add locator, it creates a flag, and then here you can kind of describe what's going on. So I'm just gonna say piano. Sorry. Oh, uh, there was a spot in the song where it did, um, there was a special effect that's played. Let's see. Right around 12. Add a little cater, I'm gonna say special effect. Expand this a little bit, and there was a part where the beat dropped, so we got So, 13, we got beat drop. And also in Ableton, you can right click and hit, um, uh, right click on the flag, and hit edit info text. And it creates like a notepad where you can kind of write details in it. I can say, let's see, beat drop. Uh, start. Snare. Kick. And piano. Just something like that. You can have like an eyelash. Um, fell off my... <laughs> I lit for some reason. I'm like, what in the world? Anyway, um, okay. So really, that's all I want to do. Really, I can come down a little further. Again, I'm not gonna do the whole song, but I can do. Let's see, let's play it right here. Break here. Let's see. So I would say so at twenty one. I say the last. I say last kick. Last break. And then at 22, 
the beat starts again, but it doesn't have a hi hat. No, I say no hi hat. So really, you can go throughout the whole track and basically um, deconstruct this thing and kind of give yourself an idea of how to set up your own um, instrumental. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to pick some instruments. Um, I already have a few on here already. Let me go back up. Try to minimize some of these so you can see. Um, so at the beginning it starts with a piano. So what I'm going to do is leave with a metronome and I'm going to have a piano. Let's come up with a, a chord progression. So do something real simple. that so let's uh let's try it. make sure I mute the reference track See if we can quantize it and play it back. For some reason, this got cut off on some of these chords here. So I'm going to drag this out. Kind of doctor it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is, let's spread this out a little bit. So as you can see, I got these locators here describing what's, what's going on in this arrangement. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate this piano part. And I'm going to make a space. As you can see, I got special effects here. I'm going to edit this arrangement here. <coughs> Special effects is gonna happen here and piano is gonna start when the beat drops again. So let me go ahead and copy this, paste, and let's uh let's take this piano part out of here. Actually, no, if I go back, the piano was still playing when that uh last kick hit, so we're gonna kinda Play with it. And we're just laying down ideas. Um, so I got the piano going. Let's work on a special effect. I'm really going to make it real simple. I don't know what they use. I don't know if it was a, a chimes or what. But uh, what I'm going to do is, this is real simple. I'm going to find me a bass drop. another track of mine so I'm going to use that so let's go ahead and record I'm going to start here alright let's quantize it Now, 
I need, since I got a bass drop, I mean, I can add a... A riser, I guess. Uh, let's see if I can uh, follow one real quick. First of all, I need to arm the right instrument. <laughs> uh. one bar so we'll see I might add a reverb on just to have it linger out a little bit Something simple like that. Again, you can always come back and change it. So I'm gonna quantize that. So I'll squeeze that in a little bit. So we got a piano, we got a bass, uh, drop, we got a riser. So the next thing I want to do is probably add a kick and snare. So. Um, I'm gonna drag in another a new drum rack. Bring that back, and I'm gonna find some samples. Preferably, probably a kick. Yeah, I'm gonna start with a kick and snare. So I'm gonna go to Splice, look up Reggaeton, which I already have pulled up here. Reggaeton, I'm gonna look for some drums. I wanted to play it, but for some reason, my audio is not working on the actual splice window, but I think I should hear it once I drag it in. So I'm gonna drag this in here. Okay, I'm good with that. And let's go with a snare. Find one that sounds good to me. Let's see. So I'm going to play it and let's see if I can get this timing right. Might be a little off. See if I can quantize it. Let's go ahead and edit this. Make a clip. Do a clip view. Let's quantize. I'm going to drag this over the top of that measure here. And let's see what it does. So that sound like trash. Um, let's do this. I'm gonna delete that. So we got a few bars here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sequence this in. So you already have a bunch of boxes here. I'm gonna just go with 
I just play with one uh, the kick right now. Steady rhythm. Let's start with the kick. start adding more kicks just trying to get this rhythm straight Good with that. Now what I'm gonna do is let's add the snare. There you go. All right. Had to drag that flag back over to highlight that uh, one section and then crop the clip. So we got this. I'm going to quantize and see if I can make it tighter. It should be good now. So I'm good with that. Let's expand this. Uh, expand out just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. Again, if you can just play it by hand and get it right and quantize it right, you should be done with it. But I took a little time trying to get that rhythm right. Um, but it's all good. And I goofed up. Let's see. Undo. Flip my fingers, man. Thankfully, thankfully, you have an undo button. <laughs> Wish we had that for life, boy. That would come in handy. Uh, okay, so we got that. We got the kick and snare. Now I want to add in a hi-hat. Uh, we could do something real simple. We got a hi-hat. I can either play it by hand. Or just highlight this first bar here. See if I can actually do this. All right, so we're gonna go here. This is the 808 core kit from Ableton, and um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a hi hat. And I'm just going to draw in these MIDI notes here. I really don't know what kind of rhythm I'm going to do at this point. Um... <laughs> ah, all right. Let's take some of these hi hats out and play it again.
Jedi. Let's try it. Yeah, I just want something real simple. I'm just gonna leave it. I can make it more complicated if I wanted to, but this is just for example purposes. So I got that bar and I'm gonna sit there and duplicate it. So really, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this uh, pattern here all the way to Where that um that um last kick is so probably deal with that later i'm gonna delete that i got the kick here in this pattern here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to this last bar and i know that kick is gonna hit somewhere right here and i'm still gonna have the piano going um Double click here, and literally, I'm just gonna highlight the snare and the kick sequence in here. I'm gonna delete it, and we'll see what happens when I get to this part if I like it or not. Uh, we got the piano going. I had I want to add a symbol at the end of this uh, special effect of beat drop. <coughs> so really I'm going to play this out there's only one instrument I want to hear <coughs> excuse me Four. symbol in there. I'm going to go ahead and quantize it. Um, uh, that first one was a little rough. So I'm going to delete here. Let's copy this symbol here because that was on time to me. Let's quantize it. And let me go ahead and duplicate. Okay, so I got a nice little beat going. Um, what I can do now is I can add in um, let's add in another bass. So I got one here. Let's throw it in there. Um, I think I already have one selected here. kind of come up with my own bass line but let's go back to the reference track and see what they're trying to do okay so I kind of get the rhythm there do that so I gotta do it in the key I'm playing in Kind of got to play with it first to see. Something like 
like that. So I'm gonna roll with that. Um, hit record. Woo! Start off with the wrong note. C, Jason, come on. Messed up. So. that as it is double click quantize it. got the MIDI notes here let's go through it again so small for some reason. Um, I don't know if that's a volume. Is it turned down or what? But I'm telling y'all, my ears be so sensitive, it's crazy. <laughs> but I believe this MIDI note here, let, let's play it again. Uh, I think the problem is this one. It's coming in late, let's see. Here we go. I do not want that delay. I need that thing to hit. Right at the beginning. So I think it's at nine here. Which would be 19 up here. So let's play it again. that baseline um let's go ahead I might just add another symbol here copy I'm gonna paste and they got different shortcuts I'm kind of just clicking away right now um so I had a break here with a kick and then all I want to do is start back up without a hi-hat which is what they did and enter kick and snare. Now, just for grins, what I want to do is I want to add in a vocal. So I can either go to arcade and find a vocal, or I can go to splice and find one. So I'm gonna go to splice real quick, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag in the sample in the uh, simpler. Um, pretty easy to use in Ableton. Uh, just drop it here and play it on your MIDI controller. And have at it. So let's see if I can just find a simple vocal. Um, again, you're not going to be able to hear it. I got to figure out why it's not playing in this uh, splice window. But uh, anyway, I'm going to try this vocal here. Uh, minimize this. Let's go ahead and hit record. <coughs> Do a random hey.
So that sounded okay. Um, let's add another. I'm gonna drag in another simpler and mess around over here. Mess around with another vocal. Um, see if I can get a. Uh, Drag in another one just to see what I got. I like to mess around with different things. <laughs> Falling, yeah. Falling for you like one falling, yeah. I'm gonna throw that in. I Falling might put like a reverb on. Falling, yeah. Falling for you like one falling, yeah. Falling for you like one falling. I'm gonna add a reverb on it. Hold on. Just kind of mess around with this. Falling for you like one falling, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna mess with it. I don't know if I got it in the right key though. But you got these flags here, and basically you can manipulate um, what the start and stop is for this sample here. So I'm gonna drag this here, or I can slice it up here. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not, but I'm just gonna play with it. I just throw it in there. Now, if I slice it up, let's see. transpose it. Simple like that. Um, quantize it. I'm gonna go to vocal. Hey, 
Okay, I'm gonna add another reverb on it. Uh, different ways you can do this, but let's play it back and see. I shouldn't have quantized it. Let's see. Let me go back. Let's play it back without being quantized. So there's a couple of things that are a little off to me. I'm just gonna go down here to my MIDI notes and kind of drag it to get close to these uh, grid lines. Again, just trial by trial by fire. I'm just kind of going with it. Now I could change it later on. I don't know. Um, time I don't know what else I would want to add to it I mean I can add pads I can add um shoot I can add uh let's see um trying to think of something here Go back to complete control. So I can load in a, a marimba. Some marimba. My mind be going crazy. And I think this is from East West, yeah. <laughs> Could add that in there. I don't have to. Okay, I can add that in there. 
some reason I had this thing. Let's see, you name it. I think I saved it as a template um, every time uh, I drag in complete control. I'm gonna have to fix that. I could go, I mean, I could add different things in my head right now. Uh, I could add like a, a pad or something. Um, again, let's go to, uh, I'm gonna drag in contact. <clears throat> And let's go to gray light. And I'm telling you guys, I haven't really used this instrument that much. I just want something laying in the background. certain part of the song. Some reason this part here, I want to kind of cut out that. Just add something different in there. Uh, let's check this out. kind of working overtime so I'm going to quantize this what I can do is I can go in Ableton and pretty much free some of these tracks I could render them the audio but I'm not going to do that yet but they say if you freeze your tracks um, that'll save your CPU from working so hard to try to process all of these um, virtual instruments so that's what I'm getting ready to do right now Again, you can add in whatever you want to add in. Um, you can pretty much go with the reference track, which is what I'm kind of doing, but I'm also adding some extra ideas to my track. Um, I'm going to add a reverb. Actually, I'm going to rename this again. A rumba. Freeze that too. I don't know if I did or not. Uh oh, I think I goofed up. Hold on. So I already got a label here. Ah! Let's go back. Undo. 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 I tell you, this is. Trying to figure out what instrument this is. Hold on. See, that's the thing, guys. If you don't uh, label your stuff and go back, you're going to forget what it was. Oh, okay. Gotcha. See, I forgot that quick. 
Let's go ahead and name it right now before I forget. Rename. Vulcan. So here, rename this Vulcan. Okay. I'm going to freeze. I think I already... No. Yeah, I did. Freeze. And you just do this to save your uh, CPU from working so hard with some of these uh, plugins. Um, so that's the marumba there. I want to add a reverb to that as well. Uh, let's go ahead and drag in. Solo this out and just kind of play it. See what it sounds like. good with that for now. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to freeze it for now. And again, if you want information on that, just go to ableton.com and they'll show you different techniques that you can do to save your, um, save your CPU and uh, work on your performance with your uh, computer. All right, let's, uh, I got the pads going here. Let's see what it sounds like. sensitive some of these sounds let's solo this out again Yeah, I'm just kind of listening, going through, and seeing what I can do to why this thing seems off to me. Okay, some reason that's bugging me. I'm gonna take this out. Let's see. Do something simple. I'm, I'm trying to be complicated. Just do that. I can just do that. Let's see how it sounds without me trying to quantize it. So I can just roll with that, man. I'm gonna take the solo out. I'm gonna duplicate that. Let's play it with everybody else. OK, 
Okay, this pad, let's see. I got this. Let's try. Let's try that instead. Uh, I'm gonna start here. Let's try. I'm not screwed. instruments on this thing. Sometimes Ableton is like, I need some help. So we're going to try this again. Let's play it again. I got for y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Y'all have a great day. Remember, the gift will make room for you. Bring before great men. Make your music out. You have a blessed day. Holla. <laughs> make real music.